Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video where today you join us back on the GSX-R600 and for today we're going to do a quick review on the bike going to see what it's like for the first big bike see how good it is um, if any of you are wondering or if any of you are wondering and thinking about buying one going to give my overall opinion on one on a, say I've been riding it for about two months now so got a good grasp of the bike as it is if you watch my first video so you'll notice my first big bike after about 10 years of riding um say so previously riding 125s so yeah this would be a good um good overview for you lot who are either just about to pass the test or say so come up from 125 to see what they're like i mean first off we'll go with looks i can't complain about the looks factory yellow and black looks brilliant not many people would be a big fan on the old um on the big head of light but i quite like it and so you've got the SRAD technology with all GSX-Rs. But yeah, I've not really done anything customization wise apart from that still be exhaust, but we'll get into that. I want to try and keep this nice and stock, just for the review. So I'll say after this review, we'll start, uh, we'll start messing around with it, start tampering with it. And so to begin with, the, sitting, the feel of it, it is a big bike. It is a big bike. It's a chunky bike, obviously from 2003. It's definitely the pre, pre these new uh, smaller bikes. I'd say probably even like a, a new 1000cc would probably feel smaller than this. But this does feel, you know, it's nice and chunky. Which with that I quite like. I don't mind it. It gives you the feel of being on a bigger bike. I'd say we've got, the, uh, we've got a choke. It's not an automatic choke, so we've got a manual choke, even though it's fuel injected. So I mean, it's good, for the, uh, it's good for the mornings if you're turning your bike on at five in the morning or so, and you don't want to annoy the neighbors bike revving up to 5,000 RPM. I'd right, say so if you do put the choke on, we'll be able to fill that three and a half. We're going to have that off. Mm. Better turn it off though. But yeah, say so starts up every time. I've had it for the last two months. So the bone position ain't too bad. It's quite nice. Can't really worry about it. It might feel a bit funny on the wrists after a while. So maybe the longer journeys you might feel a bit of a pain, but for now, it doesn't really feel too bad on the short rides. So let's get going. So we're going to go down a few roads that we know to Mangalby Park pretty much and back. So pretty local, but it's a good chance to uh, do a review on the bike. Well, I've got to say, in the uh, position of the bike's really nice. So it's a nice chunky bike. Gives you that proper feeling of being on a big bike stands out you know proper head turner especially with the bright yellow and black colors it handles nicely as well it only weighs about 160 kg so it's a nice and light bike probably not lighter than you know the uh the proper like top of the range you know the r6s the uh, cbrrs but you know it's still nice and lightweight for about power of it about 115 horsepower at the 600 cc engine so it's nice and so it's got a nice bit of power to it obviously not it's not got the torque that like a 750 or a thousand would have but you've got 14,000 rpms to play with so the handle is beautiful you can really get it down clutch is nice throttle response is great which i'll demonstrate once i've got a nice gap here so, no, he doesn't really want to let me pass, does he? I think the only complaint here, I've got these mirrors. You really have to tuck your elbow in to actually see behind you. So I wish they'd just stick out a bit more. Uh, you could probably get an aftermarket option for that, as a guess. I say, changes, gear changes are nice and smooth, especially with your clutchless ones. Nicely smooths in. So six gears, one up, one down, six up. Traditional motorbike. So 14,000 RPMs to play with as well. And with the 600, like most 600s, you've really got to thrash them to get to the power. And so it just handles really nicely as well. Like I've owned this for about two months now, and I've really gone to the grips with it. Like it make, it's confidence boosting riding this bike. Like it almost wants you to throw it into the corners. It wants you to rev it out. And it will just go along with it. It's great. As long as you can tell it what to do, it, it will pretty much do it. 
when it comes to that department throttle response is nice also if you've been fuel injected you're not going to get that car breath of the delay so you feel like you're on a nice big bike you got the presence on the road i say it just leans over beautifully as well i'll say you know you tell you what to do and it will do it considering about two months ago on the first road this thing i was i was pretty scared to really get it lent over but now you know I'm, I'm not that scared anymore to get it lent over i know it will do it whether that's just my riding abilities you know just gone up or whether that's you know due to the bike it's been a, easy to handle guess we'll find out if we ever ride different bikes i think the only one complaint i've got about this bike is the brakes um there's a nice bite to the brake or well, the front brakes we'll say it's a nice bite to it but it's sort of just no power in the brakes when i'm when i'm coming to a heavy brake and i'm relying a lot more on the rear than i am in the front so the rear brakes feel great you know i've got no complaints about the rear brakes it's honestly just these front brakes just almost feel useless in a way i also wish there was like um a view to see what gear you're in so half the time when i'm going up to gear six i never actually know i'm in gear six i try and shift up but then um, you realize you're in sixth gear I think another thing I'm not a big fan on this bike is Jesus Christ, good job I didn't go for it. But I think another thing as well I don't like about this bike is it's got this dampener on the shocks. Um, I don't know whether this is causing it, but at low speed it really doesn't feel like it wants to manoeuvre properly. So you go into a straight line, say you want to do a you know, slight right or slight left, it just doesn't seem to want to respond to it very well. Whether that is down to that or not. Not really sure. That's an interesting looking car. But here we are though, Mallory Park. Hopefully one day we'll be able to take this thing around the actual track. See if there's anything on. Friday afternoon, so who knows. Might be a track day on or something. Looks like there might be something on. Got any marshal there. Um, but yeah, here's Mallory Park. I was gonna stick around for a bit, but I'm guessing there's some on. As a guess. As a guess. Definitely sounds like there's some on, though. And yeah, if anyone watches uh, Matt Armstrong, you definitely know this area. Mallory Performance, some beautiful looking cars down here. Absolutely beautiful cars, look at that. And there he is, Matt Armstrong himself, what are the odds? Well there you go. I mean I'm not, not that I want to give away his uh, location, but yeah, it's quite weird seeing a very famous YouTuber there. So a few more back roads to get down, finish off the review. Ah, it's just a shame there's a few cars here.
Yeah, like I say, he really wants to. Uh, you he really wants you to give it some, and I am not going to complain if he does. So like I say, for a big bike, there's plenty of power. If you really give it some, it handles beautifully, even in the slow stuff. You know, there's real confidence in the bike. There's real confidence that you know it's going to turn. Brakes, maybe not so much. But that could be well down to the pads it's on. It is a 20-year-old bike, remember? This is the K3 2003 JSXR600. So, you know, you could class this as a classic because the race to K1, you know, in the classic Suzuki race team. But yeah, thank you very much for watching YouTube. If you're thinking about getting a K3 GSX-R600, K1, K2, I'd recommend it. If it's going to be your first big bike, you know, go for it. It's great. It's, it's not hardcore, but then it's not soft enough, to, you know, to feel like you're on something that's just underpowered or just, you know, a bit weak. You know, you've got that power with it. You got a nice sense of power, you got the weight, you know, on your side, so it doesn't feel too heavy. It wants to do what you tell it, which at the end of the day is what you want on a bike. So yeah, I'll leave it here, YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more videos on the GSX-R, which there will definitely be some more as we're going to start modding it from now. And uh, if you've got a bike that you want me to review to give a go, send me a message, you know, send me a message on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching YouTube. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching YouTube. I'll see you later.